There's a lot of stake. That's a high pressure situation, you know, this is do or die. This is the event that everybody wants to be at. People seem to be falling a lot today. You're gonna see a lot of people kind of just like laying it all out because Jorred for these guys is like, that's like the holy grail then. So if you're not in like the, I think it's like top 16 or something like that in point stands, like then you need a wild card and this is the last event to give them out. I'm uh, fortunate I have a wild card. <laughs> so I'm in. Come here, Drew. Let's talk no, to Nyquist. I'll see you guys later. Oh, no, okay, come here. I feel for him, man, that sucks. It's humbling, man. I did this. I did the same thing last year. Like, I showed up to the event and I didn't expect to win or anything, but I was just like, I'll come out here and do like some truck drivers and stuff like that and get a feel. And like, dude, I, I like almost last place like every event. You know, he was heavy BMX and he's been switching back and forth. It's hard, man. It takes it takes a toll on you. And then to have that pressure of like, this is your last chance to make it to Jorad, he's kind of put himself in a hot spot. So I think a lot of eyes are on him and and people are curious to see how it's going to turn out. Big smile, thumbs up, whatever. It's been fun to watch. You know, see how he progresses and. and He's been killing it, like everything I've seen online, just double flips and stuff, it's like, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes time to actually doing it, I'll, you know, I'll do it. Oh, oh. Man, it's scary watching some of these dudes. You just have a lot of dudes that don't understand consequences, and this is like their lottery ticket. I don't even know how to explain it. See that? Whose wheel's that? I think there's definitely a lot of BMX riders who are bi curious about the mountain bike slope thing, but are like weirded out about like how the BMX world will take it or perceive it. It's cool that like knowing knowing that the mountain bikers follow BMX as well. Last year I did two events and I knew nobody and people were so nice, like just, you know, got up to the hill and people were just like, yo, like, it's so sick to see you here. And like, my name's so-and-so and like, just nothing but just well-received, like in everybody. I didn't have like a negative experience whatsoever. Most of the negativity came from BMX, honestly. So it's kind of like, go figure. But uh, no, everybody in mountain bike's been just like, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, you're gonna put pegs on? That's sick. You know, it's just like, it's really cool. So, I mean, people are passionate about BMX. So it's like, if there's, if there's anything besides 20 inch wheels, a lot of times it's just like kind of frowned upon unless it's like this high elite level of gnarliness. But no, I think that now that people seeing that like I'm not giving up BMX, I'm still riding that and 26, it's like, you know, people have been pretty cool with it. So just a little bit of like learning curve for everybody to know what's going on. You just said the name of the Drew Bazanzan series. Oh, man. That's it. They placed it in your mind. Dude. <laughs> I've been watching it, man. It's been good. Like I didn't snowboard as a kid because I couldn't afford it. I didn't ride mountain bikes as a kid because I couldn't afford it. There's no way I'd be able to afford a $2,000 Ford BMX. I could afford by saving my lunch money. Yo, this is low class. Why don't they have a lift for you guys or something? That's funny. It's like mountain bike guys have like legs of steel. Like their butts must be like just so firm from just like stair climbing up the mountain all day long. I'm getting a firm butt. My life's stoked. Yeah. Yeah. It's, nice. it's been great. Yeah. Home life's great. Firm butt. Bubble butt. I already had a bubble butt, but now it's really inflated. <laughs> With the level of riding at these days' events and anything, it's like it's a little bit of lady luck, and you know if it's your day or not. It's got to be a tough position, you know, like he's kind of going up against the best in the world. And like this event, even though it's in the States, like you had a lot of European guys come over. So like it's heavy competition. I know he's got the skills, but it's more about like the confidence. Man, there's a lot of dudes bumped. I will say that. Hey, I don't know. The score stuck. I, I was sitting in first and then only got bumped back to sixth and stayed there. So um, definitely 
good for the mental state going into tomorrow, and I definitely have more to add. So, really looking forward to it. I mean, this this morning it would have been a little different story. Real talk. What do you think Drew's chances are? <sighs> Drew's chances are good, but. I also know what a lot of these dudes are capable of. Drew's really good on a bike, but he's got no chance of getting this wild card. I mean, you can't just come from BMX and think you're the man. No, I'm joking. Um, he could do it. We've got a stacked field here, so he's going to have to throw down a hammer run. Thank you so much for coming this year to uh, Trust Park Park Resort, Park Resort, Park Resort Festival. It's our 10th year doing that. The course is awesome. It's really cool to see a lot more BMXers on the scene, a lot more people riding. This event's a lot bigger than it's ever been in the past. how good everybody is it's like you can't jump around sports as easy as it was five to ten years ago the day that I don't have any obligations I'll ride a bike ten times better because it would go back to being a kid where you treat every session almost like your last and especially too when you, you do have that bummer run and you just want those few minutes of alone and you get the camera shoved in your face and you get the controversial questions and I love you Fudger <laughs> I love Mavro I love Ripple Ratitudes, I love Ripple Learning Curve, I love mountain biking, I love BMX, I love dirt bikes, I love road bikes, I love cross country mountain bikes, I love downhill bikes, and kids, I ride it all. So don't ask me if I quit BMX or if I quit mountain biking, because I'm just going to be a bike rider for life. Boom. <laughs> and cut. And cut. <laughs>